It's a first for Equatorial Guinea. Never before has the country made it to the semi-finals of the Africa Cup of Nations. Quite a feat for a team that didn't even qualify, and a tournament that seen powerhouses like Cameroon and Algeria go home. They're only taking part because Equatorial Guinea stepped in as hosts at the last minute after Morocco pulled out. Just 11 days before kickoff, the team was still looking for a coach. At first, we were not in the Cup of Nations. Morocco was in. Then we were invited. We were invited to the party and now we are making surprises. In less than a month, we have prepared a young but ambitious team. Everybody thought we would be out in January, holding a bug with 10 goals in it. But we are alive and at the semi-finals. We have a new and young team that play in the second and third divisions in Spain and some in the first, but the other teams have players from some of the top European leagues. And that's why Equatorial Guinea is such a surprise. Their presence at this stage is nothing short of a miracle, but one that's tainted with controversy. In the quarter-finals, Equatorial Guinea beat Tunisia, a team 96 places higher in the FIFA rankings, thanks to a highly dubious penalty that allowed them to equalise in the dying minutes of play. Their next opponent, Ghana, has been warned. We hope that everything will go well, whether with the referees or anything else. No worries, we just want to play this match. We want to make it to the final. That's all that's important. The Confederation of African Football has fined and banned the referee of the controversial quarter-final for six months, but the result still stands. Favoured or not, Equatorial Guinea now has its sights on Ghana in Thursday's semi-final. The whole country will be behind Captain Javier Balboa and his teammates, willing the team onto their first final.